up. On a large airplane, in clean configuration, when increasing the angle of attack, some buffeting appears. This is the buffet onset. It intensifies progressively, and finally, it becomes deterrent for the crew. To avoid any subjective interpretation, this limit is determined by analysis of the variation of the vertical acceleration at the pilot seat. The angle of attack where the deterrent buffet is reached decreases significantly as the Mach number increases. As an order of magnitude, the value is around 10 to 14 degrees at Mach 0.4 and 6 to 8 degrees at Mach 0.8. Without any angle of attack protection, the pilot is usually able to perform pitch maneuvers up to the deterrent buffet but he is not supposed to go above. With the protection, the maneuverability should not be reduced. Therefore, the tuning is such that the limit is set as close as possible to this deterrent buffet. It is possible to use this value as the angle of attack limit, because overshooting it does not lead to a loss of control, but only to very strong buffeting. The tuning of the protection starts by an identification of the aerodynamics of the airplane. Over the entire Mach range, the angle of attack and the elevator deflection corresponding to the deterrent buffet need to be known. This identification is performed at the limits of center of gravity position, forward and aft. These tests are performed in direct law, where the pilot controls the surface's deflection directly. On a specific display, the pilots monitor the key test parameters obtained from the flight test installation, angle of attack and side slip. For this identification at high altitude at a given Mach number, the airplane is installed in a turn in descent. The Mach value is maintained accurately while the angle of attack is progressively and smoothly increased until the flight test engineers announce that the deterrent buffet has been reached. The key difficulty in this test is to maintain the Mach number precisely in the turn. The angle of attack increase leads to more drag and therefore a strong tendency to decelerate. This is compensated by an appropriate increase of the dive. The test is carried out at around 10 values of Mach, between 0.4 and MMO. It allows a curve of the deterrent buffet angle of attack function of Mach to be drawn to prepare the tuning of the protection. The protection in normal law is first checked in a simulator to confirm that for a given Mach number, the maximum angle of attack reached is close to the value corresponding to the deterrent buffet. In flight, in normal law, for several Mach values, turns are performed at maximum thrust, trying to maintain precisely the Mach value up to full backstick with different dynamics to increase the angle of attack. For the slow increase of angle of attack, the airplane should remain below the buffet, but for the fast increase, it may be briefly reached. If the buffet is never reached in the maneuvers, it means that the angle of attack limit is too low, and it may be increased by half or one degree. On the other hand, if the buffet is always reached and possibly maintained with full backstick, the angle of attack limit should be slightly reduced. In practice, the pilot cannot stabilize the target Mach value up to the end of the maneuver. When reaching high angles of attack, the drag is very high and cannot be compensated by more dive as, in normal law, there are maneuvering and attitude limitations. However, the result is obtained for a given Mach value angle of attack couple, 
which in the end allows accurate tuning around various MAC values. Tuning is not always performed only with modifications of the angle of attack limit. Adjustments in the flight control's dynamics, such as damping, are sometimes needed. The tests start with a forward position of the center of gravity. The maneuvers are performed over the entire Mach range. The same series of tests is then performed with an aft center of gravity position. The elevator efficiency and the damping are different. Therefore, the tuning needs to be adapted. In addition, a slight reduction of the angle of attack limit is sometimes necessary. On large transport aircraft, at high angle of attack, there is frequently some pitch up, which means that, in direct law, the angle of attack increases without input from the pilot. The design of the protection takes into account this pitch up by adding a pre-command term on the deflection of the elevator at the appropriate angle of attack to compensate the pitch motion. The adjustment of this pre-command is part of the tuning process of the high angle of attack protection. When modifying the aerodynamics or the length of the fuselage of an airplane, a new identification is performed, followed by the tuning of this high angle of attack protection.